Hey, how's it going? So today is day one of our trip to Melbourne. So this leg, we're driving from Brisbane to Sydney. But we were warned when we got up by one of our other friends who was doing the same trip today uh, that there was a lot of was it flood damage. Or well, just just be careful in the Lismore area. So I hope the roads aren't destroyed. That's kind of what I was worried about. I opened the map yesterday to try and do some route planning and there was this whole swath of area that was just flood, 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 flood all around where we'd be driving through. So time to go. First stop for fuel in Pimpama. One of our friends lives around here so I kind of know the area so I was happy to stop and waste a couple minutes. Uh, $50, 23 litres. Back on the road. And we have made it to New South Wales. Sorry, we missed the Welcome to New South Wales sign. Everything looks different. Yeah, everything looks like it's run by dirty blues. Stop number two, Byron Bay. Everywhere here wants money for parking. Like, we're just driving around and they said as soon as you stop you need to pay for parking. And you're like, what the f There's no one here. So, I'm a cheapskate, so you use the cheap parking that didn't cost anything. But look at this view! So, what's our next stop? It's not Byron Bay. This is Byron. Next stop, I don't know, 100Ks. So here we are at Coffs Harbour. Uh, we just had lunch at this dumpling restaurant. It was pretty good. I'll uh, drip a little bit of the b-roll in there. And um, we went to Woolies to, to grab some snacks because we forgot to before we left. And they had film! They had 35mm film! I'm so excited. You have no idea. So I've been looking for that for a little while because I just thought it would be really handy to have some extra. So I've actually... I don't know if you can see. I've got a little esky. A little freezer bag with some cold packs in it. So we've put it in there for the meantime so that it stays nice and cool otherwise it'll just die apparently <laughs> and yeah I was really disappointed I went looking for Jaffa's and I couldn't find any like surely it's not that hard to have like orange flavored chocolate but whatevs all right, so Gems is going to be driving the next little bit, so I'll try and get some b-roll of us driving, but see you at the next stop. So we just arrived at the hotel and there's like nowhere to park. Uh, it looks like we're parking 10 minutes away and <laughs> walking and bringing all of our shit. So that'll be fun. Uh, Sydney is a nightmare to drive in, especially the city. Like, oh my god. Like, I'm parked in like an alleyway that says no parking, but there's nowhere else to go. If I see anyone, I'll get going, but. Here's the hotel. How's the bed? Not that comfy. How's the view? Oh, I see. But what about the all important test? We just got to our room. While we were driving, uh, there was a Norco truck that... <laughs> there was a Norco truck that we were really close behind. And, <laughs> and it looked like one of the milk cartons had like exploded because we could see milk dripping out the back. 
and then I noticed the windscreen was starting to like milk up so I was like oh no it'll be fine it'll just come off and then I sprayed it and no 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 it's it's stuck our, our windscreen's covered in milk so that's fantastic actually that comes off from the fuel station mm. otherwise it'll be embedded in the front window yeah <laughs> And then for the trip, once we got to, uh, once we left Byron Bay, we headed all the way down to Coffs Harbour. I drove from Coffs Harbour to Port Macquarie and I haven't driven in a month or so. And after two hours, I thought my leg was going to seize up and never work again. <laughs> when we swapped over in Port Macquarie, I checked the fuel gauge and we had, we were just 30 kilometers short on our tank to get all the way to Sydney in one go. So we were going to stop in Newcastle and fuel up because there's a 7-Eleven there, but we might as well just keep going, right? Or well, I was like, it'll be tight. So that's why I was following the Norco milk truck in the first place, was to try and hyper mile and get that little bit of extra fuel out of it. So in the, in the end, we got all the way to Sydney on one single tank, but We've got about 30 kilometers left in the tank, so we'll have to fill up before we leave town. Did you have a highlight? My highlight of the day was finding cauliflower karage at a Japanese restaurant. It was delicious. Nothing else could happen today. Driving for 13 hours sucked. What was my highlight for the day? I guess my highlight was that there wasn't any road closures or anything like that so we managed to have a straight shot all the way from Brisbane to Sydney without worrying about anywhere flooding or anything like that. It was like just about road closures though. And here in Sydney we found a double story Woolworths and we felt like hicks because we've never seen a double story Woolworths before. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Just like standing in the middle of the store staring at the escalator and everyone's like, oh, excuse me, can I get around you? Nothing makes you feel like a hit quite like that kind of thing. I didn't even see a double story train. So do we sign up? Okay, now we're done. Good night!